The Israel-Palestine conflict uh, is spiraling. Hours after a gunman killed seven outside a synagogue, a 13-year-old Palestinian boy shot and wounded a father and son in East Jerusalem. The shootings mark an escalation in the Israeli-Palestine violence. Now, as per the police, the gun attack occurred in the Silwan, just outside the old walled city in Israeli-annexed East Jerusalem. On Friday, a 21-year-old Palestinian resident of East Jerusalem drove up to the synagogue in, a, in the Nev Yaakov neighborhood. He opened fire during the Jewish Sabbath and on International Holocaust Remembrance Day. The gunman at the synagogue was killed by police during a shootout. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu toured the scene of the synagogue attack along with the National Security Minister Ben Gavir. Now, world leaders are calling for peace. Several Arab nations that have ties with Israel, including Egypt, Jordan and the UAE, condemned the synagogue mass shooting. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that he was deeply shocked by the terrible attacks and that his country stands by the side of Israel. French President Emmanuel Macron said a spiral of violence must be avoided at all costs. There is widespread concern over the escalation in violence. On Thursday, at least nine people were killed in what Israel described as a counter-terrorism operation in the Jenin refugee camp. It was one of the deadliest Israeli army raids in the West Bank since the second Infantile on Palestinian uprising. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.